Hey guys, it's Tepco Cycle Repair. Today we're going to be talking about fuel pumps. This is one on a uh, 26 horsepower Briggs & Stratton. So you just got finished putting one on and it still doesn't run. You got fuel problems. You have a brand new one on there and you don't know what's going on. Let me show you what's going on. I'm going to show you the problem. I'm going to show you which fuel pumps to stay away from because you're going to waste your time and it's going to put you in a bind trying to find another problem. All right. There's a reason why you want to stay with these good ones. I'll go over here in just a second. Before we get started, please do me a favor. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. All right, so you're looking for a fuel pump or you have a fuel pump problem, your, your mower's not running good uh, and you assume that it's the fuel pump. This is the Briggs & Stratton stock one here. This is, these pumps are made by Makuni. Uh, so if, you, if you're looking for a used one, I mean looking for a replacement, make sure that you get a Makuni. Now, there are other fuel pumps online that you can get off, get off of eBay that look like this. All right, so this pump right here is the same same design. It works the same. All the outlets are, are the same. You put them in, you know, you got your prime line, which is the bottom one, the bottom one here, and then you have your inlet from your tank, and then your outlet here. All right, that's the same as this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference. And the reason you need to stay away from these is because when you're trying to fix a problem and you replace a part, you assume that that part is good. And when you put that part in there, um, you need to be able to move on to something else. But I'm going to show you how to test this and see how much fuel you're getting out of it to make sure it's good before you even waste your time on it. But if somebody brings you something, if you're working on these for somebody else and they bring you one and they say they just put a new fuel pump on and it, it's just like this, a no-name brand, yank that sucker off of there, get yourself a name brand one, and I'm going to show you the difference. Let's take a look. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this one here. This is the stock one. Uh, this was the old one that was on there. I got a cup right here. I'm going to catch the fuel coming out of it. I'm going to crank it for uh, for five seconds. Uh, we're going to pull the plug so it doesn't start up. Crank for five seconds. I'm going to see how much fuel we have here. I'll show you. Then I'm going to throw the other one on, the brand new one, and then I'll show you what we get out of that one. All right. Let me pull the line up here and get this set up. All right, guys. So I'm going to crank this thing for. Uh, I'm going to do two five-second blasts and see how much fuel we get out of it. Alright, so there's two five second blasts with the stock original fuel pump on it. Yeah, we're gonna say we're gonna say 50 milliliters. Alright, let's dump this and do it. Swap swap the pump out and do it with the other one. Alright, first thing I just noticed. Is that I got fuel coming out of the uh, primer line? Look, okay, fuel. If you can see that, look. Fill it, dumping, dumping fuel out of the primer line. That ain't gonna fly. Okay, that's not gonna work because as soon as we hook it up to the primer, it's gonna start dumping fuel. All right, when it starts sucking fuel through, it's gonna start putting it into the crankcase and filling up my. All right, I'm going to do it for you guys. Let's just see. All right, two five-second bursts. All right, as we just saw there, we just cranked it for 10 seconds, and I didn't even get enough to register at all because they're garbage. So this is a, uh, a cheap one. It comes in a box like this. If you go on like um, Amazon or if you go on to eBay and you buy them, it'll say three filters, buy two, get one free with a filter. Each one has a filter in the box and a, and a pump. They're all garbage. That's the first one. Let's pull it off and see what the other one is. I got another one right here. Let's see if they're uh, consistent with their uh, failures. All right, let's do it again. Five second shots. All right, so 
that's another new one and that's pumping half as much fuel as the old crusty stock one okay so the old crusty stock one is pumping out twice as much fuel so if you got a mower this is a 26 horsepower it needs a bunch of fuel so when this thing is cutting grass and really digging into the grass it's it's wanting a lot of fuel and if you're doing a big yard or something getting half the fuel is going to cause surging on at power so when you're powering up and you have uh you know the mower at full tilt this is a 52 inch deck this thing's working hard it needs a lot of fuel you got half the fuel coming through that you're going to have surging you're going to have problems so you're going to be fighting that issue i highly encourage you guys to buy factory ones get the ones that are um Makuni, I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the back right there, but that is a Makuni brand. Okay, Briggs and Stratton on the front, Makuni. If you go online and you, when you're looking for one, make sure you look for a for a real name brand Makuni pump. All right, guys. So this mower was having problems, and when I put it into gear, uh, when, when I engaged the blades to cut the grass, it would really bog down and have a hard time keeping up with uh, the power that was necessary. So um, it ended up being water in the fuel. But one of the things I tried was uh, one of these Chinese pumps because I wanted you to see uh, how crappy they are. And don't waste your time with them. You know, you get three of them in a box, but it's still not as good as this. So, but I'm going to throw this back on, give it a good oil change, uh, and get this thing ready to go. Guys, hopefully this video helps you out. Make sure you get the Makuni brand pumps. Uh, they're good to go or the factory pumps get an OEM one and you'll be good to go you won't have problems uh, I made this video because I don't want you guys to put a cheap pump on your mower and still chase a problem uh, that you just don't know why it's th these don't put out enough fuel they also leak around the seams the the other one the first one I put on was leaking around the seams here uh, they're just garbage stay away from them, guys please hit the like button subscribe hit the bell for notifications guys until next time this is Tepco Cycle Repair